July 2010. Star Palestinian soccer player Mahmoud Sarsak is arrested on its way to a match. Israel holds him without charge for three years. June 2013. El Hakawati Theater is shut down by Israel days before the annual Palestinian Children's Theater Festival is scheduled to begin. August 2015. Palestinian-American author Susan Abulawa is denied entry into Palestine on her way to build playgrounds for children. In 1948, Zionist forces attacked villages across Palestine, dispossessing 750,000 people. Today, those refugees and their descendants are barred from returning home. Since 1967, Israel has received $120 billion in U.S. aid. Subsidizing the demolition of homes. The displacement of families. The theft of farmland. The arrest of children. And the siege and blockade of the Gaza Strip. This has become the longest running military occupation in modern history. Governments around the world refuse to take action against Israel's illegal policies. Dozens of UN resolutions remain unenforced. We must act where governments have failed. In 2004, Palestinian civil society called for a cultural boycott of Israel. Targeting government and complicit institutions, not individuals. Cultural boycott is an ethical, rights-based tactic with historical precedent. How can I perform in Israel when millions of Palestinians cannot attend? How can I play in Israel knowing that the government will use my show to whitewash its crimes? How can I participate in U.S. cultural projects funded by an apartheid government? How can I tour in Israel knowing Palestinian artists are denied the right to travel? How can I work with any institution complicit in Israeli human rights abuses? From Cape Town to Dublin, from Montreal to London, from Beirut to New York City. Artists are raising their voices in support of cultural boycott. Refuse to play for apartheid. Amplify your voice for justice. Join the cultural boycott of Israel. I endorse the cultural boycott of Israel. I endorse. I endorse. I endorse the cultural boycott of Israel.